Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another tag video called Luxury Items That Didn't Work Out For Me. And I was tagged by the wonderful Irene, whose channel is called Luxury Lover, and also the gorgeous Sing Young Love. And of course, I will link their channels to this video in the description box below. So let's get started. So the first luxury item that didn't work out for me was the Celine Boogie bag. Now I can't actually show you the bag because I sold it just before Christmas and um, oh, it was heartbreaking really because I, I hate selling my bags but I'd rather do that than just continue leaving it just sitting in my shelf. So, um, But anyway, I do have pictures of the bag so I will insert them here. So as you can see, it is a gorgeous bag and I fell in love with it when I first saw it because of the uh, beautiful brown leather and the contrasting ivory stitching, which I just thought made it look really stylish. And of course, any bag that has lots of pockets and compartments, I love. So back in the day, um, when this bag first came out, it was known as the It Bag, you know, favored by a lot of celebrities like Madonna and Gwyneth Paltrow, they, they've both been photographed using this bag. And, um, and I just thought, ah, oh, it would suit me perfectly until I started using it. <laughs> I realized the bag itself was actually quite heavy. Without putting anything in the bag, it was already quite weighty. And I used to carry it on the crook of my arm. And on the number of occasions when I took it down to London, uh, for the day, I would come back with a really sore arm by the end of the day. So eventually I just stopped using it and I just left it sitting on the shelf for years and years. And last year I brought it back out thinking that maybe I would try to use it again and it just didn't work. It was so heavy and as much as I loved the bag, I just it just didn't work for me, you know. So I made the decision to sell it on eBay and I finally sold it just before Christmas and it was quite heart-wrenching for me to post it because every time I sell a bag it's like selling one of my babies, you know. Um, but it made sense to, to sell it to somebody who would probably, you know, have more use for it than I. Um, so yeah, the Celine Boogie bag just didn't work out for me. So the second luxury item that didn't work for me, sad to say, was my Christian Dior ring. Now, those of you who've watched my videos for a while would probably have seen me wear this ring on a number of occasions, and I absolutely love it. But as you can see, one of the metal baubles has fallen out and it just can you see the gap there and it literally this happened only a few days ago so ah uh, I was so gutted because I only bought this ring last year in fact I think it was last May or June when I went to Bista Village so it's less than a year old um I just can't believe that this has happened you know because I'm very aware of uh, costume jewelry that has crystals that are prone to falling out and and I know Chanel are notorious for that so I'm very conscious of not buying costume jewelry that contains crystals um, but this ring I thought it would be okay because it's all it was all me metal I just didn't think that the metal baubles were glued on like that so but what do I know <laughs> So uh, yeah, when I um, wore this last uh, Saturday and by the end of the day, it I took off the ring and I noticed one metal bauble missing, my heart sank. So I don't know what to do, um, whether to take it back to Dior uh, because I don't know whether they will be able to repair this for me because it's not current season, it's, it's past season 
um, item. So we'll just have to see what happens. The third luxury item that didn't work out for me were the Christian Louboutin peep toe sling back heels. And I'll insert pictures here. Now the pictures I've shown you are not the exact shoes that I bought because I returned them after three days. Um, but the, in terms of the style, the peep toe at the front and the height of the heel and the, the slingback strap uh, were exactly the same. Um, the only difference is mine were just sort of plain black calfskin, not patent leather. So the reason I returned them was because I just couldn't walk in them. Um, even though I thought they would be okay because all the heels that I have are all slingbacks because of the, the shape of my feet and um, they're extremely flat and they flare out. So I really do struggle buying heels and I found that with slingbacks, I'm usually okay. So when I saw these Louboutin slingbacks, I thought, perfect, they, they'll be okay. And at the time, I bought these, I think, around about three or four years ago now. And at the time, you know, everyone was obsessed with Louboutin and the red soles. And uh, so I really, really wanted a pair. So when I saw these slingbacks, I thought they would be perfect. And, and um, at last, you know, I'll be able to wear a pair of Louboutin. And when I tried them on, I knew that they were not very comfortable because they did really pinch at the front, but the height was okay. And I somehow convinced myself that all would be well, just get them anyway. And I thought, okay, by wearing them around the house, I could break into them, but no, it was not to be, unfortunately. After three days, I really did have to return it. And so that was that. So unfortunately, Louboutin shoes, as much as I love them, they are just something that I have to admire from afar. So the last item is my Louis Vuitton belt in monogram print. Ah, oh, it's such a gorgeous belt. And you know, the rest of the belt is, looks perfect. It still looks new. And you can see here, Louis Vuitton, made in France. There's no issues with the glazing whatsoever. The whole belt still looks really brand spanking new. I bought it about two years ago. And uh, yeah, but look at the buckle. Can you see how scratched up it is? Especially there, see? And I noticed the scratches quite quickly after I bought the belt and wore it for maybe just a few weeks. And, uh, and then one day I took it off and I just thought, what the, you know, it, ugh. because it's not a cheap belt, you know? And then I just couldn't understand how or why this happened because I am so careful, especially with my luxury items. I am normally very, very careful. So I just couldn't understand how this happened. And then I realized that it was most likely caused by my bathroom uh, wash basin, which is ceramic. And because I'm only five foot uh, and my waistline is the same as the, the, the wash basin. So I suspect it's probably that, you know, me sort of leaning over the sink as I'm wearing the belt. It's the only thing that I can think of because I can't imagine what else could cause scratches like this. So this has definitely taught me a lesson that if I were to buy another Louis Vuitton belt in the future, not to go for one with a shiny buckle, but go for the, the matte effect one, or just choose something cheaper. <laughs> but it's a shame because I really, really love this belt. I mean, I still wear it, it just, um, doesn't look so nice, you know, with all these um, the scratches, but hey ho, I guess I've only got my height to blame. And that's it. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then please consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. So once again, thank you so much to Luxury Lover and Sing Young Love for the tag. And of course, I will tag um, some ladies, but I'm not sure if they've already been tagged or whether they've actually done the video, but it is open to everybody. But I will put some names down in the description box. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, take care and don't forget to smile. Bye bye.